好，黑子聊世纪，天天 A C G， 大家黑子今天带来大家看到的是 E G C T V 的赛事啊，壮世纪杯，神话重塑。这边进到的是八强赛啊，由台湾女婿 Rico 啊，在十一月初的时候也宣布加入这个由韦恩所创立的战队啊，现在是国际战队了 T A G。那也其实也是算是 T A G 正式跨足到这个神话世纪的一个代表。我们来看一下这一场赛事。这一场 Recon 这边选的是艾塞斯啊，啊对手 Player 葡萄牙的玩家选的是奥丁。Now sending four villagers over onto gold, so that suggests to me either he's going for a fast tempo. 好，这边先拉艾塞斯做一个法老加持。先蛮早就先开了这个采矿的科技。我会讲 Recon 爸爸是正常的吗？应该不太正常。应该是不太正常。But is he more of an anu? What do you think he's going to go for? Is he going to go for ancestors eclipse and see if he can get an AE off on the economy? Is he going to go just heroic and make dual unit play? Um, you know, with a push with ancestors eclipse, it, going Anubis? What's your opinion? Anubis. If you're asking me, I think he's going for Anubis because. 好，那个尼罗河洪水，艾塞斯可以确保你的土地肥沃，并稳定提供食物啊，有一个一的食物系列。就是现在画面上正在研发的这个科技。比较类似的是那个黑帝斯也是有自带一个金系流，也是蛮不错的，应该没记错。艾蒂斯有一个艾勒博斯的宝库，他的那个金系流其实还蛮强的。好，这边选择把神殿盖在正后方哦。奥丁这边的神殿也放下去了，等一下会有乌鸦出来。乌鸦在新的改动中视野是有缩小。The the one good and bad thing about forward. Wow, this room, this room is very outside. Anyway, um, gold mines, exterior gold mines, that very often for both players, either the Odin player or Isis player, losing map control. If we're going to see a dynamic classical fight, losing map control is a death sentence. We saw it in game one. Yeah, can be a death sentence. 好，这边奥丁选的是爱玉女神、啊，然后 Rico 这边选的是阿努拜，阿努比斯。好，这边补下了纪念碑。直接拉了一只褐色来锤这个方尖碑，把它锤掉。哇，有一些不错的宝藏啊！好，这是石子的宝藏，很很很好用。好，这个是打神话单位的，神兽之类的。哇，村民家。跑速哎、欸，也很强。啊，这个狩猎技有点了、哦，所以你看这个动物超多。Where it was on Anatolia, I can't remember the players because there was a couple of um a couple of Chronos matches on Anatolia. Anyway, I could easily argue that the game was won because one of the players picked up the gold. 好，出来了。Exactly, like of all the relics, that. 两边的神兽应该会在前期做一个小交锋。A lot of games early on, Valkyrie just sneaking past those two Anubites, taking down uh Obelisks early on. I like that use of Valkyrie in early. It's hard to really get value out of her, but like taking down the vision around the map from the Isis player, really good use, I think. Indeed. Speaking of vision, is he gonna find these? Is he gonna find the hunt? Yeah. Oh. Ah, 没看到，错过了。
错过了漏区。They're just the little spies, little James Bond, just slipping right through the defenses. Holy smokes! I see. Yeah. Taking down the priest and recon noticing now those deer and elks and whatever they are here. Priest going down now, but yeah, he's noticing. 好，房间被挡生物这个细节。Tell here. Well, honestly, like if you're, if you、uh, exactly. Ooh, is he gonna get stuck? No, he can jump out. 好，跳墙。That's so funny. It's dude. You think you you think you have this awesome ghost. 看起来 Recon 这边好像会打一下时代二哦。LOL. They're just gonna hop the fence. Dad gum it. Anyway, yeah. But here's the thing. The priest knife, though. The priest knife from the Valkyrie turns out to be really effective here because that does mean that these Anubites can't be healed up quite as easily as they would be able to. 这边对方奥丁的乌鸦也停在对手的肉区。好，看起来是以突袭骑兵配褐色作为主力的推进。还搜查犬，缉毒犬还是搜查犬？ Well, plus you can predict that your opponent is going to go for raiding cavalry as the Odin Slayer, and so, and <laughs> speaking of the priest, then 有长枪兵、持斧战士跟投石手三种兵可以选。那这边目前的组合是持斧战士，可以反步兵，然后配长枪兵来反骑兵哦。两个都是偏近战的，然后出一个持斧，然后再出个长枪这样。Are they? Will they? Will they? Will they? Yes, maybe. Are we gonna pick off some priests? We got RC going down, dude. One RC down, both villagers surviving, and they're going right back. Exactly. The priests can just kill. 这边五技师。哦，没有，选选择先往回走。他被包。Not not really heavy pressure, but so far, I don't know. It kind of seems like he's done a little bit more damage. I think it's what you gotta do playing as Odin versus Anubites or Anubis in general is try to get those raids going. 看起来 Recon 已经停兵了，点上时代。选的是，看一下，我忘记那个刺神的名字叫啥。啊，纳夫蒂斯哦，死亡女神。As Odin, I like to start raiding. Use your mobility instead. Try not to get into a big clash. Ah, he just he just移过去啊，你早点移过去不就好了，就不用去切。纳福蒂斯啊，埃及的死亡女神。Straight fast heroic AE on the economy, etc., etc. But we see player doing kind of kind of a semi fast heroic type of a thing. A little bit of army. We got Neftis coming in. I kind of like it, man. I like it. He has enough. He has enough army on the on the um on on the field to put some pressure on player, force him to play some defense, etc. Yeah. 他也跟你一样忘了。应该是不会吧。Will have to move out for gold eventually, maybe in a minute or two, and by then there will be ancestors. There will be. Snakes ready as well. Hey, oh, this side player weighed a lot. Oh, probably use that for, you know, building two or three Mekul strongholds or spamming out priests or whatever he decides. Indeed. Interesting use of snakes here, actually. Quite sure what the idea is. I 放了个蛇瘟。以时机点来讲，这个放的感觉有一点点是想要拖对手时间而已。What was that all about? It's not like he had to even, you know, panic and try and save his anubites or something like that. Yeah, I'm always... saying that's a misclick suit. Could be. This is such a weird misclick. Oh well. No, it's just a. It's just a distraction tactic. It's a distraction tactic. That's what it is. I would call it that. So is player moving? Hey, hey, hey! This animal, this animal, is trying to do what? What is the deal here? Oh yeah, he is. Oh, good, good, good. 这边有抓到对手的小矮人。Needs to have an answer to all these missions and the answers is there as well. It's so difficult because all he's got. 哦，这场 Recon 给的压力是不错，而且还点了一个蛇，那个毒毛，毒毛科技，可以让长枪兵获得一个零点一三的神圣伤害。
，持续六秒。毒蛇矛。不过这是长枪的科技啊，所以要产长枪兵才可以使用。Recon 还是点上时代了，是不是？这边 player 才刚点时代三呢，装女神。他、啊、点的是冥王奥西利斯哎，等一下有冥王支持了，等一下有好戏可以看迅雷之体，开电。会那么快吗？应该没那么快吧。Well, the, you know, 哎，不对，这边还是没有上时代啊、哦。两边都还是时代三，时代没上成功。他全部都拿来转成出骆驼了，是不是？ Well, I mean, look at players. Honestly, look at all those villagers. Look at all those Zs right around the town center. Players' economy right now, like he's he's gotten pushed off the wood. He's he's got a lot of sleepy bills right now. All the while, for the most part, 好，直接把神殿打掉了。应该是什么？长屋，应该是长屋，要翻，要数字。那个他的那个长屋又不是长屋啊，随便，反正大厅，大厅，大厅，大厅，大厅打掉。好，这边用瑞驼骆驼去追对手的突击骑兵。哎，这边很多村啊，没有要抓，骆驼跟上来。哇，这一团抓的不错。这场 recon 节奏有哦。This is the patch where Odin has a 0.5 regeneration on those raiding cavalry per second. So, yeah, the, not only is the Valkyrie there, they will also have some innate healing. Indeed. Towns that are going up, I like that. I like that from、um, Recon. Kind of match. Oh, Recon, 这边要转，转公车。然后奥丁这边选择点下了东收的科技，然后这边直接卡一个窄口，直接砍烂这牛车啊。Yeah, exactly. 哇，这直接用骆驼塔穿吗？ What is he even doing now? Going for the town center? <laughs> he's diving the TC. Come on, Recon. I know he's got some cojones, but seriously, what is happening? 看起来南方赢很大，没有，<笑>只是目前看起来是有优势啊。I know. 奥丁现在是有一点被动。那这边也不能死太多，骆驼。That was beautiful, player. Really beautiful. He's got so many throwing X-men though, and Recon has done a great job. I don't know if you noticed those throwing X-men, but the units that Recon are building now, they're so good against the throwing X-men. So. Oh, 这边拿另外一边。If he manages to just keep his spearmen away from them, those throwing X-men are just going to be dead weight. But oh, look at the. 没有要踩 TC， 选择往上抓彩金的村民。Oh, 毒蛇猫真的有够痛的。You know, forgetting about his camels, losing a bunch of HP and whatnot on his and camels in the town center, but he kind of follows it up with some more eco pressure, a little bit more eco pressure here. This is a really weird game,、um, in my opinion. Usually, usually we see heroic age god power. Oh, 这边这边的墙要破喽。
this is a lot slower of a game, kind of a raiding abuse type of a situation. It's different. I think, Re I think Recon is playing this so smart. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't, like he's got the upper hand, but he doesn't force anything stupid. That's the reason why this is a weird game, is because you're thinking Recon should be doing stuff, but instead... Oh, he's losing 2, 3, 4 builds. Oh, the side is not very smooth. I think it's a little bit of a temper. Let's be real, he has a lot of time to get out of here. Let's be real, he has a lot of time to get out of here. Let's be real here, that's a two good scenarios here for a player both on the top side and the bottom side. Yes. Yeah, for sure, man. Plus, he, we saw him a little bit earlier. We saw him take us to the town center, so he is up a TC. Yes, he is up a TC as well. That eco lead is going to get further and further ahead, which honestly, he needs those numbers as he's losing some units here. You talked about those throwing axe, but man, they're just going to shred. Oh, but don't do. If he's not careful, there goes the scorpion man. And we got some camel action on the bottom side. Hello, man. Why is he, speaking of diving TCs, player's going to dive his own TC, but there's no, there's no army at all anywhere near for recon. This thing's going down, dude. What a move by player. I was just saying, those spearmen cannot go near the throwing axe man. And you saw <laughs> <swat. laughs> You hit me, I hit you. And 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 I think it just got heavy camels, by the way. So TC down four recon, but he's maybe threatening to take down his own TC if he puts his own aggression on this opposite side. Dude, we saw before that the camels. 整体村民数 recon 还是赢很多。There are big heavy. Take care of the cross time. This is a weird. This is a weird game. I will admit it. Well, I mean, just look now. Players taking the back town center of Recon, actually. So Recon, it's going to be three to two TCs if this thing stays up, which it looks like it's going to. It's going to be three to TC, two, tip, 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 three to two TCs with more dead villagers. Recon's kind of in an awkward position now. I, that was such an awesome move there. Yeah, from player and grabbing the TC up there, like you said, and he's got the option to go for his own second. Ah, 可是 player 这边直接把 TC 插出来了。The back one, you mean the back? Yeah, exactly. Dude, this is so weird, man. I love how player is playing this. Osiris is pre queued. That's interesting. It's gonna take recon a minute to get there. Recon loves Osiris, and he loves getting those mummies out with the help from Son of Osiris and just a nice backline of chariot archers adding in camels in the front. You're going to kill so many. Low, so many units with the mommy special. Oh, 这边又把它包起来，还敢过来插 TC 啊？ Helping out your army. He's going for the double ancestors, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's just got ancestors. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Really? There's a frost. Oh yeah, that's true. But the thing is, ah, this doesn't work. When you get the mommy special, the the minions will last longer, but it doesn't apply to ancestors. I'm uh, I'm about certain of that. Well, Osiris is coming in. Has to call and call it. Thought suit. Sure, player took that TC up top, but if he goes up to Osiris and gets catapults going, we can see down on that bottom side there are villagers around. There's villagers, you know, in his in Recon's main base down on the bottom side, etc. So he can and there's yeah, there's a siege works. He can get catapults going with the son of Osiris push, where we could see you know the big god powers coming out and whatnot. Yeah, you're probably right that he does need to threaten the the CC somewhat. Big fight here happening. I don't think player can win this. Camels are so strong, especially with priest back up against the frost giants. But yeah, the 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 one big win for player right now is the fact that he's got the better settlement control, and that's. Wow, this Osiris is also living for a long time. Well, but the problem is, and by the way, look at the Osiris is coming in as we just saw, but also um, the villager numbers are basically the same right now. So here's the thing: if player can hold on to those town centers, that's nice. But at the same time, he's up TC and he's just going for mass military. He's not going her mid. Ooh, he's not going mythic at all. So it's going to be really tough for him to fight against the son of Osiris. It will be very tough. I I actually played this. I actually played this except match match up versus Recon, Odin versus Isis here. And once. 还差一点点，奥西里斯就升上去了。I didn't know what to build anymore, so I'm interested in seeing what's going to happen here. Well, I mean, look at this position right here, dude. Double wow. Migdal right outside the main base. And remember, we saw Winter Harvest come in. There's Osiris, by the way. We saw Winter Harvest come in. Did you? Oh! Damn. So we didn't get. 恭喜 T A G Recon 啊，拿下这一场的胜利。我其实觉得没有到很意外。前面给的压力真的蛮够的。You know, Migdal's already set up. It's just so damn difficult to deal with as a Norse player. Dude!
I didn't expect that. He just <laughs> instantly throws in the towel. He was it's throwing like... in the towel as as the as the son of Osiris was being cast. The towel hath been thrown. Wow. I think Flair didn't want that bad experience that he knew was coming in. <laughs> like, you so, this time, we can hit the head. Bang! Okay, so we'll move on to the next match. Brutal. And Flair, he wants to uh, keep up morale, so he says, 